Welcome back, curious minds. Today we're diving into the fascinating life of a man who quite literally changed the world with his inventions. Buckle up as we explore the incredible journey of Guglielmo Marconi, the father of radio. Guglielmo Marconi was born in Bologna, Italy in 1874. From a young age, he was captivated by the idea of wireless communication. Imagine a world where sending messages without wires was pure science fiction. In the early 1890s, Marconi immersed himself in the groundbreaking research of electromagnetic waves inspired by giants like James Clerk Maxwell, Heinrich Hertz, Nikola Tesla, and Sir Oliver Lodge. Marconi saw the practical and commercial potential of this technology, dreaming of a world where information could travel through the air. In 1894, under the mentorship of Professor Augustus Rigi, Marconi began his experiments with wireless telegraphy using Rigi oscillators. His early trials were modest, achieving a signal range of just 1.5 miles. But Marconi's determination was unshakable. Despite the Italian government's lack of interest, Marconi's breakthrough came in England. In March 1896, he filed his first wireless telegraphy patent in London. By the end of that year, he had extended his communication range to nine miles. The following year, he established the Wireless Telegraphy and Signal Company Limited, marking the dawn of a new era in communication. In December 1897, Marconi set up the first wireless station at the Royal Needles Hotel on the Isle of Wight. This was just the beginning. By 1899, he had transmitted a wireless signal across the English Channel, a stunning 31-mile leap. The British Royal and Merchant Navies quickly adopted this revolutionary technology. Then came a monumental achievement. On December 12, 1901, Marconi transmitted the first transatlantic wireless signal from Poldhu, Cornwall to St. John S. Newfoundland. This nearly 2,000-mile transmission was a game-changer, proving the limitless potential of wireless communication. By 1902, permanent wireless stations were established in Nova Scotia and Cape Cod. The maritime industry was revolutionized, with many ships outfitted with Marconi's wireless sets, operated by his trained personnel. This new business model turned a profit and demonstrated the indispensable nature of wireless telegraphy. In 1909, the importance of wireless communication was solidified when it saved over 4,000 lives during the SS Republic disaster. That same year, Marconi shared the Nobel Prize for Physics with Carl Ferdinand Braun, another pioneer in wireless technology. Wireless telegraphy even played a role in law enforcement. In 1910, it helped capture the infamous Dr. Crippen, marking the first time wireless technology was used to aid police work. Perhaps the most dramatic demonstration of Marconi's technology was during the Titanic disaster in 1912. Wireless signals sent distress calls that ultimately saved 712 lives. This tragedy underscored the critical importance of wireless communication in maritime safety, leading to international agreements on its usage. Marconi's influence extended beyond commercial ventures. During World War I, he served in the Italian Army and Navy, exploring shortwave transmission. Post-war, his company was a pioneer in public radio broadcasting, setting the stage for the modern communications era. Guglielmo Marconi passed away in 1937, but his legacy lives on every time we tune into the radio or send a message through the airwaves. His vision and perseverance transformed the world, making him a true pioneer of the modern age. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the life of Guglielmo Marconi. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating stories from the world of science and technology. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.